bluegrass singer Billy Strings is in town performing at the Columbia Speedway. As News 19's Eleanor Tabone explains, while concert goers are excited to be out, some KC residents say the music is just too loud. When we got a chance to get tickets, there was no way we could miss it after uh, spending a year without it. 2,500 people expected. We wanted to see some live music. We been missing it. Some traveling hours. I'm from Ohio to see Billy Strings. As long as I stay in my own personal space, I'm really, you know, not worried. The excitement of being out. I mean, it's 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 great. It's just a release that you need. Was long overdue for some. You know, I just couldn't wait to get out. Each seating area is a private cove where between four and eight people can sit in an area that keeps them six feet apart from every other group around them. We weren't allowed into tonight's concert. This is what it looked like late last year. Event organizers say concert goers must adhere to CDC guidelines. Adam Epstein says concessions are all ordered online. There's no waiting in line. There's no cash transactions. Everything is fully contactless. But just a few minutes down the road... It honestly sounds like your stereo in your house is cranked up as loud as it'll go. Resident Rachel McGovern isn't impressed. When you're trying to get a baby to sleep and you know you have to be at work at 6 a.m., it is a little frustrating during the work week. A block over... I've been here right over 20 years. Darlene Walton embraces the music. To me, it's not disturbing. Her theory... We have the privilege of being able to hear it without having to pay at the gate or sit over there. According to the city, there is to be no unreasonable noise between 10 p.m. and 7 a.m. Just concerned for my granddaughter and other people in the neighborhood that have small children that need to go to bed at night. If it's good music, I generally come out and camp out on my porch. In Casey, Eleanor Tabone, News 19, WLTX. Tomorrow night's show will be a sellout with over 3,000 in attendance. Event organizers say each concert ends promptly at 10.15 p.m.